My name is Stephen Twigg and I'm the director of the Foreign Policy Centre and I'm delighted uh, that we are hosting this event this afternoon with Irakli al Why is that so? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yes indeed, today I think it's a great opportunity for the uh, part and the member of the opposition to come here to talk about the massive challenges that Georgia faces externally from external threats, uh, from the standard of standard threats uh, uh, animating from coming from the uh, conflict uh, areas and the occupied territories of Georgia by the Russian Federation as well, the massive challenges that we face internally for our democracy and where we see the countries moving and uh, how we see the opposition and the government working together to get this uh, uh, internal opposition and internal instability to work out things and to bring Georgia in better shape than it is today. And uh, I really again want to appreciate the attendance that we are having today and the interest that you and uh, um, uh, international actors are paying to Georgia. First of all, I'll start uh, with the recap of uh, what's happening for the past months in Georgia internally and how we see things uh, on the political side moving forward. Uh, after the uh, Rose Revolution, a lot of uh, um, the um, us who were working uh, in the government uh, joined the Sagashvili's administration because we had a great hopes that the young reformist government will start uh, transforming Georgia into a real democracy, a uh, more strong and accountable state. Uh, and uh, we have to acknowledge that a lot of good beginnings started in, uh, after the Rose Revolution in Georgia uh, in terms of the fighting the corruption, in terms of, of the bringing and attracting investors to Georgia. And we have to have to give a credit for the government for doing so. Uh, but I believe there was a massive miscalculation made by the Saakashvili when he started for the sake of the um, fast tracking reforms and streamlining the government, he started concentrating overwhelming power in his presidency. A lot of people were saying that this is needed, the fast track the reforms that we started, an old system was very hard to beat, and so there was the sense in uh, centralizing power in the presidency. Unfortunately, by doing this, the government and the president weakened other state institutions like parliament, judiciary, court, which really effective, affected very negatively the outcome of all of the reforms that were started by the Saakashvili administration. On the same token, I was involved very closely on the conflict resolution issues. And uh, I was directly involved in negotiating with APAS together with my other colleagues from the government. And we started also with a good beginning, assessing for the past years, what was the Georgia's approach to the conflict resolution, what was the mistakes that we made before, and one of the mistakes we under uncovered was the isolation of the Afghan society. And we thought the better way to deal with this was to elevate the trust between two sides and started direct negotiations with the Afghans about the future of the coexistence together in the joint state. And uh, we felt also that it was important to show and demonstrate to the Afghan society and Ossetians as well that they can be better off together with Georgians in the common European neighborhood rather than being under the military oppression and military presence of the Russian Federation. And we started negotiating with the Afghans in this good faith. And we come to the uh, drafting of the uh, document that was called the Non-Use of Force and the acceptance from the Afghan side of the return right of the IDPs and their property guarantees. Uh, but unfortunately, this document was not signed by the sites and by Saakashvili as well. And uh, I believe that if signed, it will have lesser the chances for the confrontation and the provocation from Russian side that later was translated into the tragic war. Talking about the uh, last war, uh, August uh, tragic war, we want to say and cl be clear about this that uh, we think that this war was planted and organized by the Russian Federation because there was too many provocations happening in the conflict zones before to derail the peace process from the reproachment of Georgians and Afghans. But at the same time, I have to acknowledge that there was an inflammatory rhetoric coming from the capital of Georgia which was not helpful to get this resolution on the right track. And of course, there was a mistakes made of the execution of defense of the country against the Russian military aggression. 
but there is no doubt in our mind that there was the military aggression from the Russian Federation to the sovereign state of Georgia, and what we have is a fact that we are under the occupation. Georgians were ethnically cleansed from these two regions, and the resolution of this conflict is really beyond the reach at this point. But I, I'm optimistic that in the future we will find common ground with Abkhaz, how to coexist peacefully, and how to find ways to elevate the trust the people between two sides. But uh, the war made it very difficult now to have the genuine exchange and the communication with the Abkhaz and Ossetians. To go back about the, the major mistake that I see, the centralization of power and the presidency and weakening the other state institution also affected uh, greatly our aspirations to be integrated fully into the Euro-Atlantic community, namely NATO, and at the same time also the European Union. Because I believe that the centralization of power didn't lead to the in, uh, fulfillment of the major promise that Saga should made before it came, uh, coming to the power to institutionalize the decision making process, help to build the institutions in the country which would guarantee the proper decision challenge, uh, decision, decision making that would really be based on our nation, uh, listening to all sides of the uh, issue and then making the decisions. I believe uh, that uh, demonstrations that took place for the past year and especially in April and the May of this year uh, demonstrated to the wider um, inside the Georgia to the government, to the public, that there is a huge mistrust towards the policies, failed policies that brought Georgia to this state. But at the same time, there is a reluctance to see the changes coming from the street and a reluctance to see the changes through the instability. Because that, that led to the understanding of the better party of the opposition and myself as well that we cannot achieve those changes, democratic changes, building the fair uh, legal system, uh, respect the fundamental rights of the uh, citizens and the property rights, and the change in the philosophy of governing through this street demonstration. This is why I believe that the decision made by some of the opposition uh, non-parliamentary uh, non opposition to join the discussion group and the working group on the changing of electoral code was the right decision. We already have really uh, submitted our uh, joint, uh, so to say, um, suggestions how this electoral code can be changed in the country so we can get to the fair election system that will enable the support that we have that can be translated to the electoral support in the next elections. We were demanding the early elections, but at the same time we are getting prepared to any type of elections that will be set forward. And first, uh, this, uh, we see coming is the local elections, uh, local, local governance and mayor's office. I believe it makes sense to participate through the already changed uh, electoral environment uh, and uh, to really start offering people not only the criticism, and this was one of the mistakes I think from the opposition, not only the criticism of the current government and the policies, but also the alternative. And this is why we generated some policy, uh, some uh, policies that we already uh, offered uh, during our um, the inaugural, um, so to say, session of our party. But at the same time, we created the working groups on economy, agriculture, uh, the uh, economic development, uh, defense foreign policy that will be offered from our side during the election campaign. But to get to the election campaign, we need to change the electoral environment. And we have three major issues that are a problem in Georgia. First, we'll start about the electoral code and, of course, the electoral commission. Well, our proposals are sent already uh, to, the, to the working group, and we believe the electoral commission composition should be changed, and the head of the electoral commission should be changed, and 